Welcome to Battle Croquet. Now, step one, the setup. First of all, we have to build the trenches. The hoops represent the ladders through the trenches. On either end of the four trenches, there will be a field marshal who needs to be protected against the spy who would like to kill him. Now, the trenches are roughly one big step apart from each other and the hoops again one big step apart from each other. You see that the hoops are sometimes perpendicular to the trenches and sometimes parallel. Now, as soon as you have set up the trenches, you set up the battlefield boundary markers. Again, roughly one step out and one step back. One step beyond. In the middle of the back boundary marker of every team, there is a field marshal. And of course, he sits on his throne to see the full battlefield. Of course, this throne is a bit wobbly and wonky. Now, as you notice, the balls have different colors. There's one spy who's got the same color as the field marshal and two grenadiers. The spy is the only person who can kill the opposite field marshal. But this is the only person he is allowed to touch. The grenadiers are not allowed to touch the opposing field marshal, but can touch anybody else and kick them off the field. To get to the other side, each of them has to cross the trenches first. Section two, crossing the, fences, the trenches. To cross a trench, you have to move through one of the hoops representing the ladders that go through the trenches. Once you are across this line, you can then move on to the next trench and so on and so on and so on until the spy gets to the opposing field marshal. If the field marshal is knocked down, that is one point for your team. Things that you shouldn't do. Tunneling under the trenches is forbidden. Jumping over the trenches is forbidden. Kicking other players over the trenches is forbidden. Kicking other players is forbidden. Hitting other players on the head with a mallet is not allowed. Well, you get the gist. Step three, the referees. There are, depending on the number of people that you've got, up to four field referees wearing a face, which is very important. There will be one head referee. There is going to be one bomb referee. And you need a scorekeeper. As soon as the play begins, the field referees will stand in the field and watch the game while the head referee stands on one side and watches the field referees. Whenever the field referees see some kind of misbehavior or breaking of rules, they will throw a phase. to show that there's something odd here. The field ref the, the head referee then stops the game and watches the field referee who will then, by signaling, announce what has happened.
that was illegal tunneling, tunneling. The ball which was played has to move back by one French. The head referee, by the way, will always decide the amount of penalty, the, the strength of the penalty, whether that ball has to move one back one trench, two trenches, or report back to the field marshal is up to the head referee. Now, part four, bribing. As with a proper croquet, each of the team has bouquets. Oh. Each team has three bouquets of flower. Um, it is very important to have different colors of flowers for different teams. As soon as a phase hits the ground, the, any of the teams can decide to throw a bouquet which usually leads to distraction in, <laughs> in the referees because, oh look, these lovely flowers, I uh, haven't seen the phase. Um, so <laughs> you can therefore distract all the referees and nothing happens unless the opposing team throws a bouquet as well. What happens then is like, oh, there's a lovely other flowers. Oh, by the way, there's a phase. Okay, let's stop the game. Extra advice. You can throw a bouquet before your turn, which usually results in the referees gathering around watching that bouquet for an amount of time which they decide how lovely that bouquet is. Therefore, you can do whatever you want on the game, on the playing field. Now, how do the players actually play? One of the players, if it is a team of minimum two or more players, up to three players in total, will be the spy. He can only play the spy ball. The other players will be the Grenadiers. They can play the Grenadier balls. Every turn, every team has three hits to do. So every player do, does three hits. That, by the way, was a crossing of the trenches, usually shown by the field refs as going through the hoop. As soon as every player has hit their three, <laughs> their three, <laughs> three balls, the next, the other team's move starts. Please be aware that the bomb keeper will, at any one point, when the bomb runs out and explodes, stop the game. Therefore, it is advised to play as fast as possible, to make as many turns as possible. Because usually after a maximum of four minutes, the game stops and the team swaps sides. This game Not is picking. played for eight minutes in total. After eight minutes, after the last bomb went off, the scorekeeper will then announce the score and the game is finished. Thank you very much.